And hey everybody, uh, today we're going to look at some advanced reporting and how to create custom parameters within your report. So how do we create new reporting parameters and then how does that apply to the data and the output? So stick with me. Okay, so I have got my report open in front of me. And what we are now going to do is we're going to create a report parameter. Now, I've added a table. I've got a map here that's set to the extent of a query. And then I've also got a dynamic image. So in order to do this, you will see other videos or in the advanced reporting manual on how to actually do this. So this custom report parameter actually can be um, applied to multiple aspects of a specific report. So the purpose of what we're going to do today is we're going to, so on the left hand side under your outline here, you've got obviously all your different variables that you can change. So under report parameter here, you've got the standard start and end date. Now we are going to create a new one. So right click and say write a new parameter. And I'm going to call it patrol ID. So I'm going to specify how to run the report based on the patrol ID. String is fine. Text box is fine. If you want to have additional text, you can do that. Um, and if I take this off, then it is not required. But I'm going to put it on as required. So that whoever runs this report has to add the patrol ID in order for it to work. So I click OK and I click save. So under my report parameters, there's my patrol ID. Now my data sets, all of these here, the tables, etc., need to be associated with this as well. So in on my uh, right click on a data set and I say edit and he has parameters. If I click on parameters, it's asking me for Attack on livestock, and then go to my parameters, and I say new, and I say here patrol ID and string input, and it's linked to the report parameter here patrol ID. So it's going to remember my decision, yes, and say okay. So it's been added, and now I do that to my table, which is this one here. Okay, so I've done it to the attachments here. And I've done it to the attack on livestock incident, which it goes into the map and which filters into the table here. So I've clicked save and now I'm just going to run my report. Okay, so here it's asking for the date range. I can say all dates, but I'm going to actually look at a specific um, patrol ID, which I type in here, which is the other parameters. So I say continue. Sorry, I actually forgot to specify the date. So the custom date is I'm actually, it's going to be for July 2020. Okay, so now I've set my date as well as my patrol ID and I run the report. So there we go. As you can see, attack on livestock, there's my patrol ID. And there's my attack on livestock. And obviously this image is not very valuable but that's the picture that's attached to the specific patrol cool hope you guys have fun